Ma'am, the food was really yummy and thanks for inviting me. I'm happy that you loved the food. And I really enjoy your company. So it was my pleasure to invite you. But ma'am, I want to ask you a question. Where does the food go after we eat it? Well, the food goes into the stomach. And there, the process of digestion occurs. So, the food enters your stomach and there it is digested. Digestion? Ma'am, what is digestion? Please explain me. Okay, come. Today, I will teach you what is digestion and what is the digestive system and where our food goes after we eat it. We need food to fuel our body for energy, growth and repair. The digestive system converts the food we eat into simplest form like glucose, amino acid and fatty acid. The broken down food is then absorbed into the bloodstream from the small intestine and the nutrients are carried to each cell in the body. The digestive tract begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. It is like a long muscular tube up to 10 meters long with digestive organ attached on the way. A large reservoir of microbes such as bacteria live within the large intestine and to lesser degree in the rest part of the digestive system. These bacteria play an important role in the healthy digestion. The exact type of bacteria are particular to each person. The factors that influence the type of bacteria is the environment in which the person lives, the health condition and the type of medication the person receives. Now the first part of the digestive system is the mouth. Digestion begins in the mouth. The food is grouped up with teeth and moistened up by the saliva which is present in the mouth. Saliva also has special chemical called the enzyme which start breaking down carbohydrate into sugar. One swallowed muscular contraction that is known as peristalsis occurs and the esophagus massages the ball of the food down the stomach. Then the food reaches the stomach. The food passing to the sphincter or the small muscle, muscle rings into the stomach. Here it is mixed with gastric juice. The stomach is a muscular bag that churns the food and breaks it down with the, mechanically as well as chemically. The food is then squeezed into second sphincter into the first part of the small intestine that is called the duodenum. Once the food reaches the small intestine, it is mixed with the more digestive enzymes from the pancreas and the bile of, from the liver. Food is then squeezed into the lower part of the small intestine called the jejunum and the ileum. Nutrients are absorbed from the ileum with the lined with million finger like projection called the villi. And then from the small intestine the food reaches the large intestine. Once all the nutrients are absorbed, the waste is removed into the large intestine or bowel. Water is removed and the waste feces is stored in the rectum and it can be passed out of the rectum or and then it is passed out of the, the body through the anus. So this is how the mechanism of digestion of food occur starting from mouth and ending to the anus. So the pathway that the food follows is from mouth to esophagus, esophagus to the stomach, stomach to the small intestine, small intestine to the large intestine and from large intestine it passes through the rectum and from rectum in the form of waste material it is passed out of the body from the anus. The main digestion occur in the stomach where the nutrients are at. Thank you ma'am for explaining me the digestive system and I will come again. You make topics easy for me. Bye and take care. The pleasure is all mine dear and I am happy that you understand the topic which I explained to you and I always love to answer your question. So do visit again. And if you all like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel 
for more such interesting videos. Thank you so much for watching.